What's up everyone and welcome to Dedicate, your 30-day yoga journey. It's day 10, y'all, and you're doing an awesome job. Thank you so much for being here. Today we use our mind, our body, and our breath as one to expand to all possibilities. Let's get started. Let's begin standing today at the top of the mat. Feet hip width apart, toes pointing forward. You're gonna find a soft bend in the knees and we're gonna start today's practice with a little knocking on heaven's door. So you're gonna keep a soft bend in the knees the whole time as you begin to gently sway the fingertips left to right, feeling <clears throat> the soles of your feet as you move back and forth, starting to deepen your breath. Today's practice, inviting you to consider this loving invitation to expand not only in the body, but in the mind, the heart, the breath, the soul, expanding all possibilities. All right. Take a couple more breaths here. If this is new, if this little video is new to you, um, no worries if you feel a little silly, that's the point. Kind of shaking off any of the cobwebs, letting go of the day thus far, starting to ground through the feet, connecting the feet to the ankles, the shins, the knees, the thighs, the hips, your belly, your rib cage, your heart lifts, the sternum lifts high, shoulders start to loosen up. Any tension in the neck and the head begins to soften. And then when you're ready, we'll bring it back to center and right away, inhale, reach for the sky. Take up space here, volcano pose. Fingertips are gonna stay reaching up, thumbs back, pinkies forward as we've been doing big beach ball up and overhead. So you have a nice wide base of the feet. We're opening up through the chest, through the shoulders. You're gonna inhale in and exhale, take that big beach ball over to the left. Then inhale, reach up, exhale over to the right. Yes, inhale, reach up, exhale, check it out. Bend the elbows, thumbs back, pinkies forward, lift the chest, we're not clenching in the neck here. And then inhale, reach back up, and exhale to rain it all the way down. <clears throat> awesome work. Inhale, lift it up halfway, find length. And then today we're gonna take a variation of sending the fingertips back like little airplane arms. Great, fold it down, breathe out. Inhale, reach for the sky. Catch a wave here, reach, 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 and then exhale, just take it all the way back down. Inhale again, halfway lift with airplane arms, palms face down, chest nice and open. And then exhale to soften and fold. Awesome, plant the palms, step the right toes back, step the left toes back, then send the hips up high, downward facing dog, start to warm up through the body. Bending the knees. Pressing into the knuckles, pressing into the index finger and thumb, finding that external rotation of the shoulders as you bring your biceps in towards your face. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Great, then slowly lowering to the knees here, bringing the big toes to touch, knees as wide as the mat. Right hand's gonna come to the center of the mat, left fingertips to the right wrist. Now from here, imagine you're pulling a bow and arrow, so you're not gonna collapse into the right shoulder, but rather press away from your yoga mat, create space, and then pull bow and arrow up with your left fingertips, your left hand, all the way up the arm, across the chest, and then reach all the way up towards the sky. So if the shoulders and the chest, the pecs are kind of tight, fingertips might just come to here. So just notice where you are today. Try to find expansion as you breathe in, filling the lungs with air. And then exhale, slowly release. Left hand replaces the right. And we do the same thing on the other side. So rather than swinging it up like this, I invite you to take this like Joan of Arc image and fingertips to the left wrist. We press away from the yoga mat versus collapsing. 
and we slowly, mindfully draw a line up the arm, trace it across the chest, and we find this expansion here, big open twist to the right. So good for relaxing, relieving, releasing any tension in the neck, the shoulders, the upper back body, which gets the chest nice and tight. So here we are opening here, wherever you are, take one more breath and then exhale to release. When I did that one, I saw the most beautiful little bird outside. Walk the hands out, nice wide base, walk the knees in, curl the toes under, send it back up, down dog. Gorgeous, on your next inhale, slide the right leg up high. Exhale, knee to nose, round through. Then inhale, kick it all the way up. Exhale, shift it all the way forward, step it up, pivot on the back foot. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Take a deep breath in here, create space. Feel the lungs, the chest expand as you breathe in. And then exhale, open it, warrior two, to your left. Nice wide stance. Take a second here to find that expansive breath. Inhale in, exhale, relax the shoulders down. Beautiful. This time we're gonna inhale, straighten the right leg, then take the right fingertips up and over for a reverse triangle. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Take a deep breath in, then have some fun here. Take up space, spread through the fingertips. You're gonna come all the way through, cartwheel, bend the right knee. Come all the way through, pivot on the back foot, and then open up into a nice, Oh, twist over to your right, stretching the left heel back. Beautiful, inhale, big expansive breath, and then exhale, bring it all the way down. Beautiful, plant the palms, step it back, belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog. I suggest the cobra on this first one, but you do you, maybe you're nice and warm. Meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, lots of love in. Exhale, lots of love out. Anchor through the right heel. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale for shift forward, knee to nose. Light up the core. Then inhale, claw through the fingertips. Kick the left foot up. Exhale, step it all the way through. Mindfully pivot on the back foot. Inhale, root to rise as you reach for the sky. Find places where you can take up space and then find places where you can root and ground. Returning to the breath. Sweet, then inhale, expand, take up space. Exhale, warrior two, expand, take up space. So sending energy well beyond the fingertips. Beautiful, pull the pinkies back, breathe. Long neck. Then inhale, press into all four corners of that front foot. We straighten the left leg and nice and slow, we're gonna send the left fingertips forward, up and back, reverse triangle, neck is nice and long. You're pressing away from the earth, lifting up out of your foundation. Take a deep breath in, then have some fun here with control from center. We're gonna cartwheel all the way back, bend through the front knee, pivot on the back foot, left fingertips open up, big open twist as you reach the right heel back. Big breath in. Long breath out, one more breath, wiggle the left fingertips, and then exhale to bring it on home. Plant the palms, step it back, belly to cobra, chaturanga to up dog, or straight to downward facing dog. Moving with your breath. From here, bend your knees, look forward, inhale, then exhale, make your way to the top. On an inhale, halfway lift with airplane arms. Exhale, soften and fold. Root to rise here, inhale, reach for the sky. Big breath, big stretch. Exhale, hands to heart, mountain pose. Take a deep breath in. Empty it out. Okay, go ahead and release the hands and go ahead and take a look at your feet. And you'll lift your toes, just feeling that connection to the ball joint of the big toe mound, the ball joint of the pinky toe mound, and the back two corners of the heels. Okay, so as we progress in incorporating more balancing postures, we're gonna really obsess over this connection. And here we call this four part equal standing or samastiti hi, where we create a nice strong base in 
the feet to stand upon. And then, of course, is you know such a beautiful metaphor that comes along with that. So, zipping the legs up tight, really feeling that four-part equal stand, or your version of that, as you start to stand up a little taller. And then this time, we'll send the fingertips up towards the sky, thumbs back, pinkies forward. We're going to create a little bit of space between the heels and send the hips back for Utkatasana. Chair pose. Everyone's favorite posture. Okay, but this one's important. So you can bring a little space between the heels if it feels right, but you want to keep that connection um, between all four corners of the feet. In time, you'll be able to really sit back, sending the, the, the majority of the weight in your heels and bringing the knees over the heels. Then we'll draw the navel in, just do your best. Send your heart forward. Try to keep the expansion in your heart and the chest as you breathe deep here, sinking a little lower for three, two, you got it, you got it. And on the one, let it go. Forward fold. Great. Inhale, halfway lift with airplane arms. Open the chest. Exhale, soften and bow. Plant the palms. Step it back, plank pose. Straight to down dog, belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog. Move with your breath. Find what feels good. We'll meet in that downward facing dog. Yay. Now, just take a second here to feel that expansion as you breathe in through all four sides of the torso. And empty as you breathe out. And one more time, big breath in. And exhale out. Gorgeous. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Slide it up an imaginary wall. Exhale, shift it forward. Step it all the way up. Now, we've already been to Warrior One, so if that's more stable for you, you can pivot on the back foot. Otherwise, keeping the back heel lifted this time, let's come into high lunge, squeezing into the midline, that Shashumna, finding that connection, not just through the physical body, but the energetic body as we reach the fingertips up high. Cool, then take up space here, inhale in, check it out, exhale, bend the elbows, lift your chest, slight back bend here. Beautiful, inhale, reach for the sky, you can always be pivoting on the back foot here for a little more stability. Exhale, bend the elbows, lift your chest. Once more with the breath, inhale, draw the navel in. Exhale, bend the elbows, thumbs back, pinkies forward, lift your heart. Cool, inhale, reach for the sky, exhale, warrior two. Beautiful, straighten the leg, inhale, reach it back all the way, and exhale, cartwheel all the way down, nice and easy. Big open twist on your right, inhale, find the softness. And exhale, bring it back to your lunge. Plant the palms, step it back, straight to down dog or moving through a little flow. Follow your breath, find your way to what feels good. In downward dog. We'll do the same thing on the other side. When you're ready, inhale, sliding the left leg up an imaginary wall. And slowly sending it all the way forward, step it up. Option to pivot on the back foot, or this time keep that heel lifted, really lifted, squeezing everything into the midline from a place of connect, rising up strong. High lunge. Not lunch, lunge. Draw the navel in, head over heart, heart over pelvis here. Inhale, take up space, feel the expansion. Then exhale, bend the elbows, thumbs back, pinkies forward as you lift the chest, lift the heart. Again, inhale, hug the low ribs in, find that connection, reach up. Exhale, bend the elbows, lift your heart. You got it, squeeze your inner thighs for stability. You got this one more. Inhale, strong and steady. Exhale, bend the elbows, squeeze them in. Sweet, inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Back toes are turned in. Then inhale, straighten that front leg. Reach it all the way up and back, a big rainbow. Inhale in, exhale, cartwheel with control all the way back. Enjoy this move, see if you can start to finesse it, smooth it out as you inhale, open twist to the left. And exhale, back to your lunge. Great, if you're craving a little heat today, take a little flow, otherwise straight to downward facing dog. Listen to your body. Great, inhale in, exhale out. From your down dog, bend your knees, carve a line with the nose to look forward, and exhale, on an exhale, make your way to the top. 
Try to find something new here as we inhale, halfway lift, fingertips reach back. And exhale to soften and fold. Back to that chair pose, bend the knees, maybe a little bit of space between the heels. This time we're coming from the ground, so start nice and low, reaching fingertips forward, up and back. Scoop the tailbone in just a bit, hug the low ribs. This connection to your center here as you breathe deep, find a softness, find that ease. You're here for three, two, and on the one, we rise up strong. Inhale in, exhale, hands to heart, pause and observe your breath. And practicing this nice, expansive inhale. You can imagine the breath going in through the nose and down and expanding through all four sides of the torso. And then on the exhale, it does like this gorgeous Olympic somersault and just comes all the way up and out through the nose and the mouth. So we call this directional breathing, breathing down into the belly, into your guts. The circle. And it moves us all. Okay, release the fingertips down. Inhale, reach for the sky. <laughs> Exhale, release it all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Listen carefully, exhale, fold. Bend your knees generously, so much so that your belly comes toward the tops of your thighs. Sweet, then we're gonna slowly sink the hips back. Hang with me, we're holding on to that connection, all four corners of the feet rooting strong. I'm gonna send the fingertips forward, inhale, chair pose, find your footing. Then exhale, bend the elbows, send your fingertips back. So we're definitely working with opposition here. We're building strength in the legs, the glutes, the core. Imagine pinching a pencil between your shoulder blades as you get the neck nice and long. Now you might just stay here or you might find a um, focal point, a little drishti out in front. Draw the navel in and up, connect to your center. Inhale in, press into an imaginary plate of glass with the palms and begin to lift the heels for drinking bird. Squeeze the legs together. Breathe, see if you can find that expansive breath here. And then slowly lower the heels. Send the fingertips down, chair pose, reach it forward, you can do it. And then exhale, hallelujah, let it all go. Beautiful. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step the right foot back, step the left foot back, slowly lower all the way to the belly. From here, press your pubic bone into the earth. Interlace the fingertips behind the tail. Tops of the feet rooted to the earth, and here we go, tucking the chin, just an unfurling as you draw the shoulder blades together, start to open up, gentle expansion through the chest here for a locust variation. Keep it nice and low here to start, and then in time you can use your breath, that expansive breath, to grow it. But we shouldn't feel any pain or clinching or pushing here. Take all of the wrinkles out of the back of the neck as you tuck the chin. Find a little reverent bow, a little reverence in the, in the face here. Soften, feel it out. Connect to yesterday's theme, finding that connection to your highest self, to the divine within, so that your gestures on your mat are loving, even magical at times. And then slowly release, but not always easy, right? Okay, you're gonna send the fingertips out left to right. And we're gonna take the right fingertips and we're gonna bring them to the earth, bring the right elbow up. Peek at me if you need to. Then left hand is gonna connect so firmly to the ground, that hand to earth connection. Yes, that hasta bandha that we've been working on, that foundation. And you're gonna hold onto that as you lift your right toes up towards the sky. Beautiful, then from center, so we're not just jerking the leg, but really from our core, we're gonna use the right fingertips, we're gonna use the right toes, and we're gonna slowly begin to open up towards the right side. Maybe you can rest on your left ear here. Maybe you can bring the right foot to the earth. So important that you stay connected through your left fingertips, breathing deep. If there's another variation you wanna take here, maybe bringing your right hand to your right ankle, 
for a little bow variation, kicking the right foot back. You can, breathing deep. Finding that expansive breath. Maybe you finally catch one, a big full breath. Cool, and then from center, so important, even Uddiyana Bandha here, draw the navel in and up and let that take you back with control. I hear some ducks outside. They're saying, Jai, 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 Jai Namaste. Okay, same thing on the other side, connection through the right hand. Left fingertips come to the earth. We lift the left elbow. So I'm, I'm so aware and in control, and, and particularly with this expansive breath, that I'm not going to risk pinching or pulling anything here. I'm moving slow and with control as I lift my left toes up. Breathe. And then slowly using Mama Earth, I'm gonna roll onto that right shoulder, right ear. Maybe taking the left finger, excuse me, left toes to the earth. Maybe they don't make it, that's okay. Maybe bringing the left foot to the earth, or maybe taking the left hand, bringing it to the left ankle, finding that connection to my core. So I'm not just spilling my guts here, but I'm engaged as I kick it back. Breathing deep. Oh yeah, baby. So good if you have a computer, a cell phone, play an instrument, drive a vehicle, drive a bike. Yeah, and then with control, again, can't stress this enough, from the center, from a place of connect, slowly release. Changes the quality of the movement, which helps you feel good. And then slowly bring the hands in line with the rib cage. Uno mas, one more time, tucking the chin, this time really grounding through the pubic bone and the tops of the legs, maybe this time catching a little bit of height, maybe not, a little bit more height, and then releasing. Yeah, baby, okay, here we go. Let's turn onto our backs, nice and slow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Bring the feet <clears throat> up towards the sits bones, knees up towards the sky, just one little bridge here, pressing the palms into the earth with that expansive breath. Here we go, lifting the hip points, sending tailbone forward, shins forward. Snuggle your shoulder blades underneath your heart space. Maybe opening the palms. Inhale, chest to chin, chin to sky. Breathing deep, long puppy belly here. Breathe into your belly and you should see just past your nose, your belly just get really big and beautiful. Yes, and then slowly release. Beautiful, just send the left leg out. Open the right knee. Uh, half Sukta Baddha Konasana. So left leg out, right knee open. Just let your hands be soft. Inhale, lots of love in. Exhale, lots of love out. Good, then bring your right knee up and in, left knee up and in, and then send your right leg out. Just switching and opening the left leg. Half Sukta. Start to let everything go. Start to allow the nutrients of your practice to settle in, to seep in, whatever they may be. And then bring both knees up and in. Give yourself a big hug. Way to dedicate some time to self-care, to self-love. How are you gonna care for other people and love other people if you don't have a practice, a solid practice? a dedicated practice to loving and caring for yourself. And when we take time to love and care for ourselves, not only do we have the energy to love and care for others, but just very naturally, organically, we kind of open ourselves up to infinite possibilities, expand, expanding to all possibilities. Sweet, kick the legs out long. Relax the weight of your body into the earth. Hands can rest wherever they feel good. Take one quiet cycle of breath. Gently bring the palms together. Thumbs up to third eye. You rock, I rock. We rock. Another day in the books. 
Thank you for sharing your practice with me. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.